Welcome to Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. My name is Joanne Deste and I'm the Family and Community Health County Extension Agent for Hidalgo County. Today, we have Ms. Story, a masculine volunteer who will teach us how to make a placemat. For this project, you will need one yard of fabric and one and a half yards of contrast fabric, one yard of batting, and your sewing supplies. Now, let's welcome Ms. Dory. Hello, my name is Dory Perez and I'm with the Master Prodi Volunteer. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a placemat. So you're going to need one yard of fabric for four and one and a half for the contrast that goes all around. And then uh, the batting. You're going to need one yard of batting. This is a soft cotton that you put in between the quilts and your sewing supplies. So this, this one I made it with a pattern quick sew and it has a table runner and the little place mats. So you can make two depending on how many people are in your family or four. So today I'm, I'm gonna make it out of uh, Christmas material. And the outside is gonna be this little uh, candy, Christmas candy. I already cut the, the pattern here. I made four. But today we're just gonna use one. So what I'm gonna do with this, this is the, the, the outside. And I'm gonna do this. Okay? So I already cut them and uh, I ironed them. You iron them inside. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna There's two long ones here, okay, and then the sides are this ones. Like that. There's two here. And this one. And like this. So let's go iron so we can fold it in. And this is my little guide. You see, because this is half an inch. This says to fold it in half an inch. So this is what I do. That's what I did to all the other ones. There's, you fold it on the short side. The pattern says that it has two long ones. The top and the bottom are the long ones. And then it has, uh, the sides are smaller. So, one, two, three, four. Four sides. And then the fold goes here. Because we're gonna be sewing it all around like this. We're gonna top stitch. But first, we have to connect all this. So let me get my pins. Connect this to like this. And then this one's here. Yes, and this one goes with this one. This one goes here. Our goal is to have this. See, and then we're gonna put it like this on top. You see these little points here? They go here. But of course it's gonna be the other material. And then we're gonna top stitch right here. And we're almost done. Then we put the batting and then the back and that's all. Let's go to the machine. We're gonna be doing half an inch seams because that's what the pattern says. Okay, so right sides together.
In this clip, you'll see Miss Dory matching all the pieces together by sewing the seams together to form a hexagon. Okay, this is the little tool that I use, and it's supposed to iron, flatten them, flatten the seams. It's a real nice little tool. Okay. Now we smooth it out. And we're gonna put our pins, and then we're gonna stop stitch it right here. Very close to the fold, about one eighth of the little fold. Okay, we put pins on each corner. Okay, let's go to the sewing machine. So we're gonna sew in the very close to the fold. And let's let's try to go slow so that we can go straight. We cut all our threads. <laughs> After you cut the little threads, you can iron it so it can be flat. The, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the batting in the back, and then we're gonna put the back side. Okay, now it's flat. Okay, now let's go here. So this is the back part. Okay, this is right sides together. This is gonna be the back. Like this. And then the batting on top. So when we turn it around, you know, we're gonna have our placemat. And then we pin it. And then we're gonna stitch it all around and we're gonna leave a space about two and a half inches or three so we can turn it around. Okay, there's three, three layers. Okay, let's go to the machine. Okay, now we're gonna cut the corners. So it won't be too bulky when we turn it around. Okay, the opening is right here. We reach in and then we do the longest point and flip it over. Be real careful not to puncture through the material. Okay, now we're gonna iron it. All the corners are pointed. 
nice and pointed. And here in the opening, I'm gonna sew it by hand. And I'm gonna make the invisible stitch. We're done. So here is the placement. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Miss Story. Now, if you made this project, don't forget to hashtag MCVRGBSew and follow us in our Facebook and YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.